Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to walk you through the process of installing MySQL and MySQL Workbench on Windows 10 and 11. Whether you're a beginner or looking for a refresher, this step-by-step -step guide will make the installation process a breeze. Let's get started. The first step is to download the MySQL installer, which is a handy tool that simplifies the installation process. Open your preferred web browser and navigate to the official MySQL website. In the web version, you'll find only the MySQL installer and configuration files. However, you have the flexibility to customize and enhance your setup by modifying and adding more MySQL products later on. On the other hand, the full MySQL package provides a comprehensive solution as it includes every MySQL Windows product, encompassing MySQL server and more, all bundled together in one complete version. Download the full package. Upon selecting a version, you can opt to create a MySQL community account. Alternatively, at the bottom of the page, you'll find an option that reads No thanks, just start my download. If you prefer not to create an account, simply choose this option to initiate the download process. Once the installer is downloaded, let's proceed with the installation of MySQL Server. In this initial step, there are four available setup types, and you can examine the side box to understand what each of them will install. While you have the option to select the server only, I'll be opting for a custom installation for more flexibility. Select the MySQL server and put it in the products to be installed. Next select the MySQL Workbench and Shell. MySQL Workbench is a visual tool primarily used for database design, development, and administration with a graphical user interface. On the other hand, MySQL Shell is a command line client that provides powerful scripting capabilities for advanced database administration and automation tasks. Depending on your preference and requirements, you may use one or both of these tools in your MySQL workflow. Click on Execute to start the installation. Once the installation is done click on Next. Click on Next again. On this screen leave everything on the default and click Next. Choose the authentication method. Just leave the default one if you will be using the database in a production environment. Create a root password for your MySQL. Click on Next. Click on Next again. Click on Execute to apply the changes you have made. The installation is now complete. Click on Finish. When you click on Finish the MySQL shell and MySQL Workbench will automatically open.
To log into my SQL Workbench click on root and enter the root password you created earlier. We are now logged and you can start creating and managing databases from here. You should also add the MySQL path to the environmental variables. Open the environment variables and add the path you just copied. After adding the path this will allow you to manage your MySQL from the Windows command line. You can check the version installed by running this command. You can log into your MySQL by running this command and entering the root password. You can now start creating and managing your databases from the Windows command line. And there you have it. You've successfully installed MySQL and MySQL Workbench on your Windows 10 or 11 machine. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more tutorials, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. If you have any questions or run into issues, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.